Aries, I'm just about to record a video for your zodiac sign. I actually just want to make sure I have it set up, my computer down there. So let's get right into the reading for Aries. I hope everyone's doing well. Oh my gosh, lovers are the first, it's the first card I'm seeing. I mean, I didn't get a chance to come out, but oh, Aries, the first message I get, I'm going to put these back in, but I feel like you're actually missing a past love, a love that actually was so beautiful, so strong, possibly with a fire sign. Um, it could be your person also miss this right now and thinking about this beautiful connection you've had. Um, for some reason, you know, it's not happening right now. So we'll see what happens, but someone's definitely missing the connection they shared with you, or you are missing the connection you shared with someone. I do see a masculine having sleepless nights, tossing and turning, thinking about what they don't have anymore, right? It's really interesting. Okay, let's see what we have. The devil. Oh, well, okay. I think someone's freed themselves from a toxic situation. And you gave the opportunity to the other person. Now, I'm going to say it's the masculine missing the feminine. And now you apply it how you want. So I don't have to switch it up, right? But here I do see an open cage. I do see a masculine still left in there um, alone, able to come out, you know, but kind of not uh, doing it, not almost in a victim energy. Um, that's what I'm seeing here, right? They're thinking that they're not mature enough to be able to do this, uh, that they can't do this. Literally is what this person is thinking. Why is this person thinking that? Seriously, not the truth. Um, the two of wands, there can be a choice this person has to make. Look at, I see the three of swords here. What other swords are sticking out? The two of swords here. This person has a choice to make. It's like they have to walk up this path and make this choice. And that is what this person is avoiding. So let's get a little more into this choice. But why is this person avoiding it? Well, maybe it could hurt someone. Um, it could lead to a tower moment. It could involve them having to speak the truth. Let's see what's going on here. You know, why is this person avoiding making this choice? What the heck is going on here? The five of coins and the palace of coins. So this, sorry, the six of coins, I just had to triple check that, um, and the palace of coins. So this person is avoiding making this choice because it does involve their home, okay? I see the emperor here. Um, this person seems to have some sort of a comfortable lifestyle, possibly way grander than people's dreams, you know? Like, if it's not as amazing as I'm seeing it here, it's just a pretty comfortable uh, lifestyle that, you know, is secure here. And I do get the vibe that it's actually a very nice lifestyle. So this person is holding off, avoiding making this choice. Um, let's see what else, you know. Here we go, the love card. This can be saying that this person has to choose between two people. That's actually a very relevant message here. It's interesting. The lover's card has uh, six candles in it, the high priestess. So there's definitely definitely some sort of a secret love situation that has gone on. Um, once again, I am picking up, it could be with a Leo, it could be with a Gemini, strong energies here. And I mean, it could be with an earth sign, could be with anything. But someone has crossed the line and is avoiding making a decision, is avoiding disconnecting from a toxic situation. Um, right now is choosing to play victim. There really is a choice that has to be made, okay? Like I'm just catching myself here because I'm noticing it's the same energies here, the fire and ice type of energy. It's the same thing in the two of wands. Yeah, someone is really avoiding this. So 
Knight of Swords, avoiding that, make that choice energy. Okay, so let's dig into this High Priestess and see what that's about. Maybe that will help us. For Aries, so it comes back to that Emperor energy, Aries. Um, this person, there's this person does not want to lose a home or stability would probably be the better way to put it. So this person is keeping a secret right now and acting quite immature. I'm just going to say that because I keep on seeing the Page of Wands sticking out. And the Page of Wands in this deck actually has four wands in it. Back to the home energy. This person is doing whatever they can to not lose that. So, yeah, the judgment at the top. Uh, let's clarify that Emperor in reverse for Aries. And we have the Fool card and the Ace of Wands. <laughs> this person, okay. I mean, lizards, thank you, Paul, or uh, Mark, for letting me know. Lizards are supposed to be known as a very um, important messenger, I believe. But I feel like this person has the message. They're just not doing it like you know what else I'm getting as soon as this relationship got I'm gonna say solidified in a sense or like it got to this special spot this person kind of changed um this is probably why one person left you know they're not gonna stay in that situation with someone that's all of a sudden acting like this person may have literally disappeared and got on a flight and left and let's clarify that a little more. The star card. This person could be well known. This person really could have just went anywhere else but here to face this. And even if this person was right in front of you, I feel like they were saying stuff like, I'm super busy. I have so many things to do. The truth is this person is just avoiding leaving one situation, avoiding having to make a choice. Um, this person may have motherly issues because I keep on seeing the fetal position. So, you know, there could be darker issues that you don't know or, or secrets that this person has not shared. We have the moon card. So what's going to happen with this person right now for Aries? Like, what do you need to know? The queen of wands. Um, I feel like that's you waiting. Tell us a little more about this, please. For this person to have this strength. So, like... I mean, I know in the beginning I was saying it may have involved a Leo. If you feel you're this person avoiding making the decision, it can have to do with another Leo here um, or, you know, another fire sign. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry, but whoever you're dealing with is just afraid to face the truth, to go through what comes along with that. Like, what's going on at the home? You know, obviously there's something there. For them to want to avoid yeah like seven of swords um whatever it is they've created their own issue in this situation trying to avoid the six of swords trying to avoid the transformation they would have to go through and i do think this person is famous because this seven of swords is cloaked in the star energy look at that it's like all stars and moons and all of that type of stuff um so if you can see that sorry so really, it's just kind of reiterating that this person could be very well known. Um, it's kind of like they've dug themselves a continuous hole because when you lie, you have to keep on lying. So what else is going on with this home? Like I'm looking for the energy of the other person. And the funny thing is there's no other person coming up. It's just saying this person doesn't want to lose their home. But if they're going to lose their home, there must be someone they could possibly be losing it to, right? So who wants to take this person's home, guys? So who wants to take this person's home? And if you want to book a reading, please do check out the website. I've changed a few things up um, just to have more room to get more work done. Okay, so we have the judgment card sticking out. Uh, interestingly enough, I see the nine of coins. So this person may actually be in... A relationship that's already over, but they're living together. So maybe things have not been finalized. Um, who wants to take the home? Not a thousand percent sure, but I mean, with the judgment card, there is someone there. There is some sort of a separation. 
Oh, and look at what's underneath that, the Queen of Coins and the Eight of Cups. Okay. So what this is telling me, um, pretty loud and clear, is that this person is in a relationship, but it's over is the best way to put it with the Nine of Pentacles showing up first. Below it is the Queen of Coins. So this is someone that this person had a relationship with, but it's been downgraded in the sense that the Queen has gone to the single energy. However, obviously, there's still some sort of connection here. Now, with the Eight of Cups, I feel that it's just saying that this Queen um, has probably walked away, but not fully because this person is still tied to them somehow you know so that does give you my little air plants falling um that does give you some information about what's going on here i wasn't planning to do an extended but i'm past the time and i like to keep these shorter so you guys can get the info but i'll put an extended here for anyone interested on my patreon i'm really just going to look into this